Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then welcome. My name is Chris Starr, and I explore and investigate haunted places. So if that's something that you're into, then make sure that you are subscribed and you are hitting that little bell down below. It's the holiday season, so I was thinking back to the toys that I used to open up on Christmas morning, and it got me thinking, what the hell was this? And is this not creepy? Because as a child, I kind of thought that this thing was. He would always go off at random times, even when nobody was in front of him. And if this is like motion censored, then why is he just randomly going off in the middle of the night? So the weird part is this Furby was working up until about a few months ago until he finally crapped out. And he's about 20 years old. His ear fell off. I feel bad. But Furby is not the creepiest toy that has ever existed. There are so many more toys that just make me question, why the hell were they ever created? Did parents not see anything wrong with them? And why were kids fascinated by them? Boy, do I have a whole list of toys that I wanna share with you guys. It will probably boggle your freaking brain because it sure as hell boggled mine. But anyway, let's just get into the video. This is top 10 creepy Christmas gifts no kid would want to open. First up, we have Charlie Chimp, a symbol banging monkey toy. That sounds kind of strange because it is. Once you see him, which I'm pretty sure you probably have, you will be wondering, why has he ever existed? The world's most famous toy is back. Charlie the Chimp. Bop Charlie on the head and hear him screech and watch his eyes pop out. Now you can own this legendary toy for just $29.95 plus shipping and handling. Charlie Chimp is a mechanical depiction of a monkey holding a symbol in each hand. When activated, it repeatedly bangs its symbols together and in some cases, bobs its head, chatters, screeches, grins, pops its eyes out, does flips and more. There are both traditional wind-up versions as well as updated battery-operated symbol banging monkeys. And of course, as I'm reading about Charlie Chimp, it says right here, the monkeys are sometimes rendered with red rings painted around their wide eyes, creating an appearance some find disturbing, perhaps explaining their many appearances in horror, sci-fi, and comedy media. Yeah, there's a reason why Charlie Chimp is in a lot of horror movies. They can also symbolize emptiness and mindlessness. What the frick does that even mean? And why should a child be playing with this? I cannot wrap my brain around it. But it's so ironic because Charlie Chimp was sitting right in front of me. Show everybody your nice grin. He's being shy. There we go. Oh yeah, he's not very cute. I'm sure that you guys have seen this in movies and probably even in modern day. But back in the 19th century, there were a group of traveling street musicians that would travel around with a white headed symbol banging monkey and they would perform. And you could only imagine the life that this little monkey probably had to endure. Next up, we have Hugo, man of a thousand faces. Most children like playing with baby dolls, even boys, but this baby doll was very bizarre and I don't even foresee a boy liking this manly doll. I just, I can't, I just, I can't not, I can't see it. So here's the thing. Hugo is an older man in baby doll form. He comes with a bald head and multiple glue on accessories like a goatee and sideburns. And apparently back in the day, it was looked down upon for boys to play with dolls, but that did not stop toy makers from trying to break the mold. They created Hugo, who is a very manly man, an older man in baby doll form. But unfortunately, most of his looks were just rather disturbing. Hugo, Man of a Thousand Faces, was even featured on the Pee Wee Herman show, and he is quite popular amongst collectors in today's world. Yeah, I just do not see how 
this toy is appealing. He's not cute. He's so weird looking. This is probably the weirdest doll I've ever seen. He kind of looks like the guy from Austin Powers. You guys know who I'm talking about, right? Third, we have this guy, this hamster owl robot creature named Furby. Within the first three years of manufacturing, the company sold 40 of these Furbies. And my family was suckered into buying one because clearly this guy is pretty damn old. He's all ruffled up. A newly purchased Furby starts out speaking entirely furbish. Uh -oh, me. me Amanda. Me, me, me Amanda. <laughs> That's Furby. Furbish. But is programmed to start using English words and phrases in place of Furbish over time. So I remember speaking to Furby when I was little and he would repeat things that I said and I always found that very fascinating. Well, is he really listening to what I'm saying? January 13th, 1999, it was reported that the National Security Agency of the United States banned Furbies from entering NSA's property due to concerns that may be used to record and repeat classified information. So he really was listening to every single word that I said. And I must mention, I think that my Furby is haunted. He has been in the family for well over 20 years. And I do remember very vividly Furby going off when nobody was even around him. And if I remember correctly, he is motion censored, so he should not be going off. He no longer works because he recently lost his battle to corroded batteries, but he has been working for well over 20 years and my entire family just thinks that he is completely creepy and they can all vouch for everything that I'm saying. Next up, we have someone that everybody knows and loves, Mickey Mouse. But there's just something very off about this particular Mickey Mouse doll. It was created by Dean's Rag Book Company and they created one of the very first Mickey Mouse dolls. He's rather disturbing. If you take a close look at him, Actually, you don't really need to take a close look at him. You can just tell that he's pretty screwed up from the get-go. I don't know what possessed this company to make a rag doll look like this when it does not really resemble Mickey Mouse. I really do wonder if this was a popular toy. Just because so many people were so in love and so in love with Mickey Mouse, it makes me wonder if this was a popular toy. If you guys know anything about this, let me know because I'm really curious. There is something not right about this. It looks like they made other characters too. They started by making rag books for children. The frick is a rag book? Now this toy, this toy I kind of have a problem with, okay? Because I'm very affected by this and I'm sure many people can agree. Roadkill, okay? I don't I don't even want to really even get into my big issue with roadkill, okay? Because it ruins my entire day, my weeks, my months, my year. There's actually a company that sells roadkill plushies. They have a variety of plushies, such as Grind the Rabbit, not your average cuddly porcupine. They have cats. They have everything you could imagine. These are known as cuddly critter corpses, and that's pretty damn morbid. I know that no child of mine would ever be playing with anything like this, so apparently this toy manufacturing company claims that they made more sales than anticipated. What, 15 sales? More than the 10 they thought they would make? Who would be buying this? Would you buy this? Because I sure as hell would not be buying anything that resembles roadkill. It ruins my day. No matter what animal it is, it just ruins my day. Even looking back as a child, would I have fun playing with a cuddly critter corpse? No. Would you? Next up is a doll that created her own urban legend, Baby Laugh-A-Lot. Apparently the ads for this doll were very sinister and creepy, and it had people comparing her to the killer doll Chucky. Listen to Remco's baby laugh a lot.
<laughs> You're listening to Baby laugh a lot. <laughs> she's the funniest doll you've ever seen. <laughs> Just push the button and she starts to giggle. <laughs> Get baby laugh a lot by Remco! <laughs> Numerous reviews can be found showcasing the supposed traumatic effect the toy had on innocent buyers. Evil baby laughs a lot from 19... <laughs> Chew, are you hearing what I'm hearing? Did you just hear that? That is baby laugh a lot with dying batteries, okay? If that's not creepy enough for you, then I don't know what is because that sounds like the most disturbing toy that a child could ever have or receive on Christmas. <laughs> Can you imagine you're sitting there Christmas morning, five-year-old little girl unwrapping your brand new Christmas gifts from Santa and all of a sudden you see baby laugh a lot. What do you do? You press her button or you do whatever the hell it takes to make her laugh. And that's what you hear. How much should a parent have to hate their child to buy them this toy? Moving right along. All right, so this one is kind of basic, but really really creepy and it's something that just gets me every time and i hate being in the presence of one of these things that is a jack-in-the-box i just find them completely disturbing i do not like the surprise i hate the fact that you just never know when that little jack-in-the-box is gonna pop on out why the hell do they make them so damn creepy there were so many variations of the jack-in-the-box from so many different countries not sure if you knew this there is a legend behind jack-in-the-box According to folklore, a man once cast a devil into a boot to protect his village. A jack-in-the-box is called a diablo and something that I will not say because I don't want to embarrass myself because I am French, but that literally means devil in a box. I don't know about you, but if I were to be exploring an abandoned building and I randomly came across a jack-in-the-box, I would probably run for my life. Not many things scare me, as you guys know, but a jack-in-the-box, yeah, I'm not cool with him. I don't really like him. I, I, I'm sorry, I don't like him at all. So now we're gonna talk about the swimming doll. This doll is almost like if Frankenstein were to have a baby, this is what his baby would look like. This baby looks like it's had all of its limbs pulled off and it's been reconstructed. But back in the day, this baby was created to look like it was swimming. Although the baby doll would not be placed in water to swim, it would just be swimming on dry land. So it just looked really weird. You were given a key to turn on the baby and then it would start moving its limbs as if it was swimming. I, I, I when I look at this video, it just looks like a doll that is completely reconstructed like Frankenstein's baby. Next up, we have the Grimson Terror. Now, as a child, I was very fascinated by the paranormal, insanely fascinated by hauntings, but a doll like this definitely would have given me the creeps, and I have no idea who in their right mind would manufacture this and sell this to children. Not only is the Grimson Terror quite the terror, it was a kit. So you had to put it together yourself and manufacture your own haunting. And get this, this toy was actually manufactured as the Crimson Terror Plastic Monster Kit. There is absolutely nothing appealing about that as a child. And if I put myself back in that mindset, nothing tells me that this monster kit looks fun. It's not a cute little monster. It kind of looks possessed, very devious, sinister. Last up, we have the most devious looking toy that I ever did see. It was created in 1965 and only sold for one year. Her name, Little Miss No Name. Little Miss No Name is the saddest, most devil-eyed doll. She was only available for one year. She wore a burlap sack and guilted you into buying her by speaking out horrendously sad poems like, I need someone to love me. I want to learn to play. Please take me home with you and brush my tear away. Sorry, can't help you little miss no name. 
I don't want to help you, okay? Yeah, usually I have the most empathy. It's just very freaking weird. Yeah, I'm not feeling bad enough to take her home. No thanks. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. We really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure that you are giving it a big thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and you have those post notifications turned on. And let us know down in those comments, have you ever played with a really creepy toy? And now that you look back at it as an adult, you wonder what the hell your parents were letting you do? I'm sure that there's quite a few of you who have some stories to share and I want to hear them. If you guys are interested, I do have a Patreon and that is the best way that you guys can help continue supporting the creation of more bomb videos. I also have some merch up. You can go check that out. But most importantly, make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel. It does show me in my analytics that a big percentage of you guys are not subscribed to my channel. So if you are watching this and you come back and watch my videos, then subscribe. Make sure that you are subscribed, okay? Actually, I didn't even get to show you guys my shirt. It's a pizza Christmas tree. It's like magic. Anyway, guys, if you made it this far, thank you for sticking around. I will talk to you super soon. Peace out, Earthlings.